get back. Anything else you'd like to add? You look at your notes. <laughs> I think that'll do it for now, That's Peter. okay for now. Many thanks. Betsy Stark on the general state of the economy. We're now joined by Bob Hormatz, Robert Hormatz, the vice chairman of Goldman Sachs in, in International. Nice to see you again, Bob. Good to be with you, Peter. Let me ask you, what do you think the effect of these attacks will be on the U.S. economy? Well, as you and Betsy were discussing, the economy was weakening even prior to this tragic event. I think this will cause it to weaken still further. Consumers will be much more cautious. Uh, they're staying home, they're watching TV, they're not spending, and even after uh, the coverage is over, they're going to be more cautious just about the overall economic outlook. America's demonstrated that it, like other countries, is vulnerable, and I think there will be, a, in a way, a sort of a terrorist tax. People are going to be more concerned about spending money and, and will sort of hoard their money, keep their money, and, and be cautious for a period of time. I, I wonder, on the other hand, whether or not there might be a patriotic factor, that people are very aware now of the state of the economy, not that they weren't before, want the country to be strong, want the country to be reinvigorated. You're right, and I think that the real key to the economy is not so much this event. This event is, is clearly bad for the economy. Mm. The real key to the economy going forward and the market going forward is how we respond to these tragic events. First, the government. The government, the Federal Reserve, Alan Greenspan, is creating more liquidity. That's a plus. The government is the, the lockbox for Social Security money is open. They're going to use a lot of that money for reconstruction to stimulate the economy. And also the American <coughs> consumer. Um, Mayor Giuliani and Governor Pataki have both made the point for New Yorkers. The best thing you can do is start living a more normal life again. Go out, um, spend money, work participate in the normal things that you would do prior to this crisis. And if the average American goes back to a more normal way of living quickly, I think that will give the economy a boost and that will be very helpful to the overall spirit of, of our society and to the economy itself. Now there has been, to put it simply, a major disruption in commerce and in communications and in transportation. Take that into account. That is really the, one of the, the big problems going forward, how much disruption has occurred and whether we can overcome it. There's been disruption in communications, airline, transportation, uh, telecommunications, the markets, a lot of disruption, physical disruption, uh, and also a lot of psychological disruption as people become more cautious and don't do what they normally would do. That will be in the short term disruptive to the overall economy. The other issue that looms larger down the road is if we do get involved in military actions in the Middle East or in the general area of the Middle East, what's the impact on oil? And that's going to be something that uh, will affect the overall economy and investors will take a look at with a note of caution mm. down the road. Now, as the vice chairman of Goldman Sachs International, what is your anticipation when the markets open on Monday? I'm not looking for advice. I'm just looking for your anticipation. It's awfully hard to predict. I think that uh, if you'd asked me a day or two ago, I would have said that because international markets had stabilized, that would be a cue for the American investor. And I still think, even though there was some weakening of markets uh, toward the, uh, the end of today, the American investor has had time to reflect on this. The American investor, investor has seen that there will be a weakening of the economy, no question about that, but also seen this remarkable spirit of resilience in this country and the government taking the appropriate actions. And I think that will lead to a somewhat more positive uh, outlook than otherwise would have been the mm -hmm. case. But it's awfully hard to predict where the market will open. It's going to be volatile for a period of time. But I think it, that's it, a reasonable prediction. But if you were making a neutral, and very hard in the financial world, I know, but if you were making a neutral recommendation about the state of the economy, you clearly would tell people to go spend money. Well, I would certainly say that you should not let this current event, this horrible act, disrupt your economic activities over the medium term. Uh, one of the goals of these terrorists was to disrupt the American economy. That's why they went for the World Trade Centers. It's really right at the heart of the American economy and the American financial and trading system. So the way to resist that and, and overcome that is for Americans to get back, become more normal about the way they do business. And I think that will take this economy down the road in a more positive way. And, I, and therefore, I think in medium term, we will probably have a stronger economy than appears to be the case and, right now. And, and surely, given all of the patriotism you've seen in the country today and the commitment all across the land to get the country moving again, the United States is not going to be seen by the rest of the world as anything less of a safe haven, right? Absolutely. That is really the critical point, Peter. This will change the American economy in the near term. 
But the great strength of this economy is the resilience of the American people and the strength of our institutions. And we still, when you look at this country from the rest of the point of view of the rest of the world, we still have a very, very strong set of economic institutions, a very entrepreneurial society, and a very resilient people. And I think those three things are going to make foreign investors, who may be a little cautious in the near term, continue to regard this country as a great safe haven and the place you want to put your money. And I think for Americans, the same thing. These institutions have been developed over 200 years. They're strong, they're resilient, they've taken us through tough times. Mm -hmm. And the American spirit's taken us through tough times, and we can overcome this as we have in the past. Bob Hormats, the Vice Chairman of Goldman Sachs International. Thanks very much. Nice to see you again.